Hi guys, uh, John Fitzpatrick here again. Uh, today I would like to talk to you about how to select a uh, training program if you're uh, just getting started and also some things to keep in mind um, as you get started on your fitness journey. So I would say that the key ingredient to selecting a fitness program to get started with is to find something that you're going to enjoy doing because if you don't enjoy it um, you're not going to stick with it, you're going to dread um, when it comes time to uh, do your workouts. So I'd say the first criteria is find something you're, you're going to enjoy that you can stick with and um, that'll definitely set you on the path to success and uh, to consistency because uh, you know training consistently is the way that you're going to see results. The other thing to keep in mind, especially um, now is uh, with the pandemic, is um, you know, do you have access to a gym? So you know, some programs out there uh, require that you have access to a, a fully functional gym. And of course, you know, if if you can only train at home, you're not going to have a lot of the equipment that you might otherwise um, need. And so, there's actually some really excellent uh, body weight uh, training programs out there that you can do at home with um, not a lot of space. Um, in some cases you might want to see if you can pick up a set of dumbbells so that you can add some extra resistance. Um, you know, if you, especially as you progress and you find that the exercises are getting easier and easier. Um, so that's definitely a, uh, another um, consideration. Um, the other thing I would say that's um, related to that is what your goals are. Um, you know, I Personally, whether your goals are getting stronger or weight loss, um, I think a some kind of um, <clears throat> weightlifting program is um, going to be your best bet. Um, the reality is, is that as you build muscle, that muscle is going to burn more calories, and so that's going to help you with your weight loss. However, like I said, um, you know it's up to whatever you're going to stick with. So, um, I mean, cardio, a good cardio program is a, a great way to get started as well. Um, so those are just some of the things that um, I would uh, take into consideration when I'm um, choosing a, uh, a fitness program to get started with. Um, one thing I will mention as well is that um, I actually started out with um, P90X by Beachbody, so Tony Horton. Um, it's a great uh, home-based program, um, really good if you're just getting started. It is a little bit intense, um, but uh, you know if you can uh, keep up, it, it's, a, it's a great way to um, get started. Um, the other thing I will say is if you're just getting started on your fitness journey and you've never trained before, um, you probably want to uh, take it easy uh, when you're just um, starting out. Um, use lighter weights. Um, the reality is, is that um, you're not going to have the best technique the first time, the first um, you know, time that you start training. And so by using a lighter weight, you're going to prevent the possibility of injury or at least reduce the possibility of injury. Um, the possibility always exists, of course. I mean, you're, um, anytime you're picking up a weight, um, you could, you know, pull a muscle or, and whatnot. So anyway, sticking with lighter weights will help reduce the possibility of injury. It'll also give your body time to get used to training, uh, reduce the strain on your ligaments and your tendons. Um, so I hope that uh, that's all I'll say for now. I hope that you've uh, found this uh, video useful, and I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.